welcome back to the channel so today let's solve this problem longest unequal adjacent group subsequence for better experience you can switch the playback speed so uh, i request you to concentrate on this uh, question because the question is a bit complicated so if you concentrate then only you can understand it so first let's understand the question uh, you are given an integer n zero indexed string array words and a zero indexed array groups you are given words and you are given groups the hamming distance between two strings of equal length is the number of position at which the corresponding characters are different what is hamming distance we say in that suppose we have a b c and c b c at only one position at one position the characters should be different uh, characters should be different uh, that is what the hamming distance is now you need to select the longest subsequence from an array of indices such that for a sequence denoted having length k the following condition should have we need to select longest subsequence subsequence is something that now a b c d e f subsequence can be you can delete from between but the sequence is matter but the sequence will matter you need to uh, for adjacent indexes in the index this corresponding groups are unequal he is saying that groups if you are taking two indexes a suppose 0 and 3 0 and 2 this group indices should be different and word of i j plus 1 are equal in length and this should be equal in length and hamming distance between them is 1 hamming distance between them is 1 that means if you are taking a b c and c b c only one character is different so hamming distance is 1 suppose you have a b c and we have d b d a c here the number of character difference are 2 this length is equal but the hamming distance between them is not equal to 1 so this will be not my answer we will not consider this as our answer so we have to return a string array containing the words corresponding to index in the selected subsequence we need to return the words we need to return the words which have in the longest subsequence so here you have given the subsequence definition so i think you understand this question so if you understand this question you can uh, think about the logic by yourself uh, if you couldn't able to come up then you can watch the next part of the video so for now see now we can see the logic first we will try to think in a greedy terms let's think about a greedy suppose we have uh, and in first scenario let's assume all groups are different mm, we are making this as true in every scenario and we will deal with this this is not a pretty tough condition we first we will solve this condition and then we will come to this true condition so we are making all groups are different so let's see okay a b a a here here if you see uh, a b a, a yes my lengths are equal hamming distance is also equal so okay uh, a b a a this uh, at this index my answer would be one at this index my answer will be 2 now we have cb cb if you compare this this lengths are equal but timing distance is 2 so my answer um, my answer will not be increasing so we are not considering this cb now if you come to cd if you come to cd if you see aa both lengths are equal but both lengths are equal but timing distance is 2 so this is also not considered in the answer if you see if you go with greedily if you go line by line you can say these conditions are failing suppose a b now what i will say i will ignore this a a i will say i will uh, i will not count a b c b this lengths are equal and hamming distance between them is one so this can be my answer two uh, and c d this lengths are equal and the hamming distance is also one because b and d is different as yes, this can be th this three so we got the answer as three and we got two if you go greedily we will get the answer less so greedy will not work because we uh, we should not take adjacent elements or the next elements which are having distance one uh, we fail the greedy now let's think about dynamic programming dynamic programming let's think uh, if you think about dynamic programming let's consider thinking in terms of longest increasing subsequence ls i think most of you know about this if you don't know you can uh, type longest increasing subsequence in the google and you will get the bunch of problems you can solve couple of them and you can come back so here you are given all the uh, all the um, 
words all the words sorry and first let's see first let's create an array length array length forget about this previous now let's forget about this previous now we have length now a b let's now yeah this uh, this is my one now a a what is the hamming distance between uh, a a i will check with a b okay checking with a b uh, answer will be two because lengths are equal hamming distance is one because only one character is different now if you come to c b i will check with a a a this will fail this will definitely it will fail because the hamming distance between these two is two if you check with this yes it is success so one plus one we have two we have two then we have cd cd if in the left side i will check with cb yes if you are checking with cb my answer is two here so i will increment it to three and i will check with aa as well because anywhere you can find the maximum cd aa this is hamming distance is not equal so i will not consider cd ab uh, hamming distance is not equal so we will not consider now you got abc now you got abc i will check lengths are only not equal so why to calculate the hamming distance the lengths are not equal abc if you check with all the elements towards the left side and it will fail so my length will be only one now if you got eb eb let's check with cd cd with cd it's working length is two but the hamming distance is not equal so i will not consider cd then i will check with cb cd failed cb yes the hamming distance is one so i can consider so my answer will be three here also my answer got three and here we have two maximum still now now efg efg we will compare with all these elements here the length is equal so i'll try to compare abc uh, remaining all lengths are two that's why we are not considering this is length is three if you see hamming distance is three because three characters are different so i will not consider this length will be as usually one now if you come to ce now you come to ce now we have uh, we have eb we have eb if you see these characters are equal but hamming distance is not equal because the hamming distance is two now if you come if you see this cd and ce yes my lengths are two hamming distance is one so definitely the we can consider this as well as this is our answer so we got length as four okay with this we can say that four can be our maximum length four can be our maximum length but we want words right we want words how to get words how to let's store that in the previous let's store that in the previous i will explain you. i will explain you now you have ab i will make it as minus one because this is my root element i will think i will make all i will initialize all to minus ones because this is my root now ab is my root now aa i got yeah aa can be my child a can be cb yes definitely cb also can be my child then you are coming to cd cd is child of cb cd is a child of cb we are keeping index 2 then abc this is minus 1 we are forming one more uh, root eb now we got eb if you see eb is satisfied by cb s now efg you have one more root now ce c is satisfied with cd right cd so in this if you calculate all these parent elements all these parent elements you will directly get the answer yes so what i am doing at this index i i am calculating i am calculating for cd and i will storing that index as well if this length is greater then i will storing the index as well and if you see the tree if you are at ce if you know the parent you can come here you can come here and you can go till the top i think you have understood this i think you have understood this now let's understand the solution uh, if you see the code then you will get much more clarity now dp we are initializing one because everything one can be my answer and all previous minus one minus one means these are all our roots all our roots we are not building the childs and here we will check the groups now first we assume that groups are all equal all groups are different now groups can be equal so first thing first while j i is equal to 0 j is equal to i minus i minus 1 we are checking the groups if groups are not equal then only we are proceeding further if groups are equal i don't care i will not calculate the distance i don't care of anything and check ab check ab 
it will check the hamming distance if you see n m and if the both sizes are not equal we are directly returning zero and see in how many different elements we are calculating if that is c is equals to one we are returning true this k is equals to true now now we are checking one plus dp of j that means suppose if you are at this position suppose you are at this position initially it will be one it will check uh, one is less than one plus dp of zero as it is definitely less than zero so dp of i is equals to one plus dp of j then what is uh, what i told previous let's store previous to get to get the root so every time we going towards the right side and whenever we are finding the maximum then we are going to store the previous simple previous of i is equals to j and we have stored the previous okay and we can go and we are going and let's see maximum dp maximum dp is the maximum value maximum value where i am getting that will be my answer suppose we have ce here uh, we are getting the maximum value at this distance so we are taking this as max dp of is equals to 4 and the max previous we are storing to get them uh, from where we need to start we will getting the uh, leaf node from where we can start that leaf node so here we are storing in the result result dot push back first we are storing the leaf node first we are storing the leaf node and then we are building till the top now previous not equals to previous of max previous not equals to minus that means you will climb until the top because a b as minus one as is parent as is parent so if you go max preview and we are updating max preview and we are pushing into the result so we are pushing the result from the downside so we to reverse it so here we are reversing it and we are returning the answer returning the answer i think you understood this uh, i tried my best to explain this problem and this problem was really tough to explain but i tried my best so if you see the time complexity it would be order of n square order of n square and the space same order of n square order of n because you are using a result so that's why it will be order of n i think you have understood this solution if you understand this solution please please do like and subscribe so every uh, every co every lead code contest bi weekly or sunday contest i will post the solutions to get the notification early please do subscribe and thank you for watching